Yo guys, welcome back to another Dalmatian Mora Freeze video. Okay, so I'm recording this video off the back of the other one. All I did was tie my hair up and it's a completely new day for a completely new video. Uh, anyway, let me just move that microphone out of the way there so it catches my actual... Because, uh, you know, whatever. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at the new uh, 1500 day anniversary filler banner is what we're going to call it. We're going to call it what it is. It's a filler banner. They implemented it just like they did the bell and the... Uh, Hestia from last year although I'm pretty sure that came did that come before part one I'm not I can't remember when exactly it dropped but big butts and I cannot lie anyway <laughs> um we're gonna be looking at it. I'm not gonna tell you whether you should or shouldn't summon so if you're here for that if you're here for like you know general do or do not summon that's not me man I'm gonna give you some reasons you may want to summon I'm gonna give you some reasons you may want to skip you have to dig the rationale out of your own butt and figure out whether you actually want to spend the iris. Uh, anyway, so this is the banner. Um, and I have to be good. Rewind. I have to give a big shout out to Yoko. My man hit me up with these gorgeous slides as always. And he hit them on point. Like he literally sent me these before I finished recording my previous news video. So here we are. Uh, I know I'm like, I lacked a video last week. Like I did a news video and then I was just bam for the whole week. But it's summer holiday. So I'm basically with my, my son all day um there is no school <laughs> so it's basically a little bit harder to record anyway anyway excuses aside we have the video i have the time let's get it on uh <clears throat> we're gonna start with the fiesta elf lafia wind magic i don't rate the artwork i'm sorry um i know i'm a little bit biased here it's because i don't rate lafia i don't like her as a character i'm very much well aware that there is potential for character growth and development within certain parts of the light novel or whatever i don't give a shit I don't like Lafia. I don't like pouty, spoiled brat characters. I can't help it. Like, I just don't like it. And then <clears throat> the the outfit, nah, man, it ain't my cup of tea. I'm sorry. Anyway, but the stats, the stats are good. The stats are very good. Uh, she is going to be a war game type esque unit. Uh, she does have good potential for single target. Primarily, she's going to be taken for. Uh, war game I, in my opinion i would say we'll, we'll jump over i'll i'll reevaluate that as i look at the skills but overall the stats are decent so we're going to jump into the skills uh the sa is an aoe ultra wind magic attack temporary great magic boost uh, allies plus 80 percent wind and magic uh, damage for three turns now while she's probably going to do a lot more damage than ray ray already gives us 100 percent magic and wind if you needed to int sack or SA sack uh, a wind unit for that to be fair at this point I feel like wind is being oversaturated by an abundance of buffs um, <clears throat> anyway skill one is an AoE fast agility minus 35% now here's the thing right wind is going to be so strong in war game in general but for the majority of people who run say the whole physical rush team and they're using is it Yukinya I think her name is is it you, you I can't remember her name from the collab the wind unit from the collab that lowers uh increases the amount of aoe damage you take <clears throat> she's there if you're running the new uh bell or the new lily or even lied or anything like that this agility debuff against other physical rush teams is going to be so fucking good because it's got the fast modifier i know there are already some pre-existing fast debuff modifiers um but here's where it gets interesting she also applies a minus 40% wind, resi wind resistance with that agility debuff. That basically gives her value as a, you know, one copy sack unit if you needed it. So say, uh, for example, you needed, because it is possible to int sack people in war games or just, you know, bring her for a sack unit in regular modes where you require wind resistance debuff, it would still be decent. Um... So it's sort of a two for one situation here, but that debuff in general, the dual debuff in war game is going to be pretty strong, even if you only have one copy. I don't see her displacing the, you know, sack anarchy, the wind one from is it Christmas or New Year's around that time. It was still pretty prevalent as a sack unit in war game now in the lower end, say, you know, king one to say just a two, at least on EU. Um, skill two is an AOE fast high wind magic attack, high on guard rate, magic resist minus 35%. And a self magic death, magic death, magic dex, and wind attack damage plus 50%. Those are some serious buffage. You heard me right, buffage in one skill. 
She buffs her magic, her dex, and her wind by 50%. That's all amazing. Uh, as well as the minus 5% magic resistance. A pretty damn self-sufficient unit. She does everything. She lowers wind resistance, lowers magic resistance, and then buffs everything she needs all in one. That's really, really good. And then her skill three is a single target, high wind magic attack, skill damage plus 35% per magic and dex buff. That puts her at a 140% max damage buff modifier uh, on her skill three, which means she's going to do considerable damage on her skill three. Uh, which means you can basically take her in more than one game mode. So she's not going to be completely relegated to uh, Wargame, although you probably won't be using her SA in other game modes, like Record Buster, for example. And in fairness, I don't even think you'd be taking her to Record Buster if the uh, element strength is wind. There are far better units to take over this Lefia, which kind of makes... That skill free a little bit redundant but probably will start still have decent usage for seventh zone but if, again if it's single target seventh zone there are so many better wind i say so many but there are more there are more units in wind now than there were previously and it has received a decent buff as of late um so i don't see where she really fits in outside of wargame I mean, she's very self-sufficient don't get me wrong she's very self-sufficient but outside of Wargame, I don't see where she's going to fit in much. If you guys can think of any way to fit her in, then by all means, drop in the comments and let me know. But I don't see much uh, value for her personally. That's just my opinion. Moving on to the eyes. Now, this is the one that everyone was like, oh my god, where? Um, Fiesta Princess Eyes. Now, I need to just have a look at her stats before I get on to what she does. Because her stats are very, very important. Like, they're not the greatest stats. Don't get me wrong. Like, her strength and magic are not the highest out of all of the assists i've ever seen but keep in mind she's not time limited um but her dex is really good like over 600 dex but just having strength magic and dex all as high as they are means this eyes will go on anyone magic unit strength unit whatever like it she's good for all the only problem here is i mean don't get me wrong you're gonna use her she's gonna come in last she's gonna be on your sixth unit um she's gonna come in you're gonna have 33 percent on everyone else and she's gonna have 111 percent sa gaze charge with all of these buffs your last unit you're gonna be sacrificing whatever element buff or you know strength and magic buff well actually she gets a strength magic and dex buff from her passive but you're gonna be missing the element buff from whatever other assist you've got but it will probably work out a lot better for you given that you get the additional sa's that you're gonna get so this is such she's such a strong assist but keep in mind, when building a team around her, you're probably going to put her on your last unit. Your last unit's going to come in, and they're going to lose access to any element buffing assist that you would have had on that team already. So you're sacrificing element buffing for uh, SA gauge charge. Unless, and this is a thing, there are obviously counters to that. So one example would be bringing in Haruhime last. I know a lot of teams do that. A lot of people, you know, who have... Uh, decently built teams or strong enough teams to last those first three turns without Haruhime or without any significant healing or defense or whatever. You know, Haruhime can come in last with this eyes. That would be great for any Haruhime as they heal on counter. Well, I say any, I mean, obviously mean the new Wind One and OG Haru. That's basically it. Um, or even Winter Haru, if you're still running her. I know a few people are, but oji haru and the new anniversary wind haru if they were to come in last she would make an excellent assist on there um because they don't need the element buff they they're not there for damage they're there for support so your damage dealers don't really lose anything so in terms of team building it's just important to keep that in mind uh, those are your options you either put it on a damage that you either, it you either put her on a damage dealer and have your support in first or you have your support come in last with this eyes and there's no need to sacrifice the element buffing. It's just my thoughts around that, which, is, to be fair, uh, just building around the weaknesses of your units and your assist is an amazing talent to, to work on if you haven't already. Uh, and I'm speaking mostly to new players here. Obviously, you, you veterans are probably like, don't talk down to me, LD. I score higher than you anyway. Most of you do score higher than me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> uh, and then we go on to the actual passive here is the self sa gauge charge uh plus 111 which is higher than previous i'm pretty sure 
I'm not sure what the casino or the Countess Seer one was. Was it 99% or 100? Either way, this is more than that. And then on top of that, you get a 25% strength, magic, and dex buff. That is great. They are great. You know, Tony the Tiger style, great. Like, a very well-rounded unit, very strong. And I can see this really, really affecting Record Buster scores in the near future. Uh, so she probably is worth at least picking up once. Now, for my summary of whether you should... Reasons to summon, reasons not to summon. Reasons not to summon. I don't really see where Lefia will fit into the current wind meta. Um, in war game, out of war game, I don't see a need for her. Unless you don't... Unless you're running a wind team and you don't have... Or you would like to place her there for the agility debuff. You know, then you're good. Because it's got a fast modifier, which means it's going to be very, very prevalent. Plus, she's got some decent agility on her as well. So even in situations of speed ties, she you know may come up there. Um, but outside of that, I don't really see a fit for her. Obviously, I'm not the most well versed person in Wargame. If I am wrong, or if you have a counter opinion to that, put it in the comments, man. I'm always open for you know um, a difference of opinion. You know, always learning. That's how you need to look at things. You're always learning. Um, but Lefia in general, I don't really see a place for her. We already have a wind unit with a better SA in terms of supporting the rest of the team. We already have the debuffs that she has elsewhere. Um, the skill one, she's not going to out DPS some of the single target wind units we already have. So that she sort of already displaced herself from the meta. And then we come over to Ayers, who basically is... She's going to change the game for a lot of people. So even getting one copy... I know many people that have like four or five prison bonds already saved for like adventurers and assists. You lucky fuckers, because <laughs> I'm not one of them. So Eyes is literally, when I say you may want to summon, the power creep she brings to the table and the potential increase in scores, if you can get her MLB, that is the the only significant reason, uh, only significant thing to keep in mind when analyzing this is like, for that power creep to take place, you need to get her MLB'd. Uh, that's how she's going to play a big role. So if you cannot MLB her, then it may not be worth, unless you want to get one copy and then rest it aside until you can afford to put them prison bonds in her, then maybe it go down that route. But for me, the only reason to summon on this banner, and I wouldn't even go all in. I don't recommend going all in. This is a break period between part two and part three of the anniversary celebration. So... If you've got the saved iris or the prison bonds or if you have the resources there available to do maybe up to the second guaranteed four star to see if you can get at least one copy of this eyes and then do her up free to play style with prison bonds go you know that would be my advice um but i don't recommend going all in 10 steps on this banner take this time save iris if you need to save if you don't need to save and you're sitting on like twenty thousand iris still bro why are you listening to me oh sorry i hit my phone why are you listening to me just fucking it's 4k iris man just spend <laughs> oh, i'm gonna have 16k iris left afterwards bro are you okay anyway um that is gonna be it like those are um, the main reasons i think whether you should or shouldn't summon if i've missed anything that you feel is very uh important or prevalent for people to know drop in the comments man i will the comment i'll make sure it's up there so people can see it anyway that's gonna be everything guys i hope you enjoyed the fucking video i hope this gave you some insight into what you should be doing with your iris or what i think i'm gonna be doing with my iris and you know if that helps you make your decisions all the better but yo have a great fucking day uh, i love you guys and i will catch you in the next video actually i hope to catch you in my next stream yeah but it is what it is i'll see you where i see you love you guys